Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today as you can see I am raw. Today I am introducing a new segment on my channel and I was kind of hesitant to do it because I was just like nobody's not gonna meds this but like I really enjoy this type of content and this is not gonna be like I'm not changing the direction of my channel but I'm just you know it's just a new segment. I am introducing a new segment on my channel called mask and murder because i love 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 true crime name a case i know about it i love serial killer stories all that stuff not just serial killers but all kind of stuff so i decided i want to make at least a segment on my own channel dedicated to that side of my personality i will be starting this series with doing some caribbean serial killers because people don't really talk about that because to be honest there's not that many reported serial killers in the caribbean especially based on the research i've been doing but obviously because i'm from jamaica i'm gonna start with jamaica so first episode of masks masks and murder is gonna be about um lewis hutchinson who is the first reported serial killer in jamaica but he's not jamaican even though they're matabo uh jamaican serial killer did it but he's not jamaican lewis hutchinson he was also known as the mad doctor or the mad master so he was born in scotland in 17 like 33 in scotland he grew up and studied to be a doctor um so then in the 1760s he came to jamaica to live um to be an estate owner a uh, slave owner and he lived at this place called edinburgh castle i believe he named it that after because he's from scotland and edinburgh I, don't, I think it's pronounced edinburgh like people say edinburgh but it's pronounced like edinburgh it is in saint anne and it's like a ruin nowadays it's a ruin so him come now there now and apparently he obtained the land the land legally but um his a lot of his livestock like his cattle on the on the plantation was stolen from his neighbors <laughs> um edinburgh castle now it's in the pedro district of saint anne so i th i believe it's close to saint anne's bay it is apparently it's a two-story building as in the castle itself it's on an estate obviously plantation whatever but it's a two-story building it's relatively small um and it has two like loophole towers on it two circular loophole towers and this is where he lived and owned his slaves and stuff like that after he came to live in jamaica a whole lot of travelers began going missing because i don't know if he used to run a like a hotel type thing out of it but people used to come and stay there because it is the, it was the only place um inhabited in between i guess somewhere on saint anne's bay like when people were on their way to saint anne's bay they stopped there for the night and then head on to saint anne's bay so what he would do he would invite them into the castle to like whatever and sometimes he'd entertain them and then he'd kill them um, usually by shooting them and they say he used to kill for sport so he never used to kill for money and as far as i see he, his killings were not uh sexually motivated anyway there's not that much information on it because this case did happen in the 1700s so there's not that much information but i don't see anything that would suggest that his crimes were sexually motivated so he just used to kill for killing's sake and he never used to have a certain type of person he killed like a regular Killer, you know serial killer you say oh they only kill petite girls or they only kill young men or they only kill black women you know, you know what i mean he didn't have a specific type he killed any and anybody no matter who you are where you're from no matter how you look he killed anybody and he used to kill them by shooting them they say he was what do you call that uh, he loved the blood flow so i don't he, he fed on blood flow so i am assuming that means that just seeing people bleed like it just motivated him to just do more and more and more so after he would kill his victims he'd he'd entertain them and then shoot them because he usually shot them so after he'd entertain them and shoot them he would dismember them so i guess this is where his doctorness his his degree in medicine or whatever came in handy because not any, anybody can dismember a body you have to know where to cut in order to dismember a body properly so he would dismember them cut up their body parts you know so they're like bits and pieces like barbie dolls um you know when you break up your barbie doll yeah and he let his slaves 
he let his slaves put their bodies into hollow cotton trees. I don't know if cotton trees are usually hollow, the trunk, but it said that he put them in the hollow trunk of cotton trees. Um, and he would let his slaves do that, or he'd let his slaves put them into a sinkhole that was on his property. Um, um, yeah, and the sinkhole is called like Hutchinson's Hutchinson's Hole, because you know it was Louis Hutchinson or whatever, Louis Hutchinson. So he'd let his slaves do that stuff, and his slaves were very, very, very afraid of him. Like if they, they already have every reason to be afraid of their master, and now this Awanya mad, you know what I mean? He's like. A weirdo slaves were very afraid of him and it's like everyone that lived anywhere around him in any way um they were scared of him because it's like everyone kind of knew about his crimes but they were like it's like everybody's secret in a way so it's like not everybody's secret but it's like everyone would know him as mad xyz yxz and him kill people and xyz but he, he was just walking free nobody did anything about it so people were just scared of him and he even not only the was he killing people he got into some violent situations as well like for example his neighbor um dr hutton he apparently shot him like he shot after him and mashed up his face in some way so now he has to wear a silver plate no <laughs> he won't know as if the man is still alive but he had to wear a silver plate in his head for the remainder of his life i don't know how that go i don't know how that look i don't know but they call him the good dr hutton and it's just like obviously this dr hutton was also he probably owned slaves as well so it's like my sympathy kind of it's a bit like okay <laughs> you know what i mean like my sympathy is not all the way there for a lot of these people after he shot dr hutton in the face or whatever um him did have to go back to england dr hutton gone back to england <laughs> and then um he still wasn't brought to justice for that i don't know if the man never reported him or what but he didn't go to jail for that um so then this man this soldier named john calendar decided like no I'm gonna be the one to bring in this man, like, I'm me, I go for him, him have to pay. Cause you know, like, everybody knew about it, but nobody was doing anything, you know what I mean? So it's like, John Calendar just like, no, I'm me. I'm gonna be the one to be brave and bring this man in. So John Calendar, take up himself, go to Edinburgh Castle, say, I will confront the man. And let me tell you, the article said, more than one article said, Lewis Hutchinson calmly shot John Calendar on sight calmly and i don't know why that made me giggle like how does one calmly <laughs> like john calendar basically play hero and get zero because it, as him reach to me it's not like as him reach there probably knock on the door say hello you're under arrest da, 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 bye like you know what i mean like him just shot him just so 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 just so 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 just shot him clean clean but obviously john calendar never go up there no like obviously he was a soldier so people know what he was going up there for whoever he worked for whoever worked under him whatever knew where he was what knew what he went to do xyz so now lois hutchinson realizes and he's just like yo i actually killed somebody that i can't trace because remember he was killing travelers before these travelers probably come from xyz nobody not know them nobody account for them it's not like now where you know we have phone and say oh xyz yxz you know what i mean it's just like they can go missing without a trace and it won't be linked back to him but this person would definitely be linked back to him so him take up himself now and say he's gonna run away so him flee gone now he fled to old harbor which is where my mom is from so he fled to old harbor now and he get on a boat now i guess it's by old, old harbor bay he get on a boat now and he's like trying to sail away go they don't they didn't say where he was trying to go but he was sailing away um but the royal navy was onto him so they stopped him from going wherever he was going i don't know how they were onto him they just up on the sea i would lay away the man and him start panicking on him and say yo him actually get catch so he's like real desperate and him chuck off into the water i don't know if he was trying to swim <laughs> to wherever he needed to be i don't know if he was trying to swim but because apparently his hair is red he was easily spotted and they just collected his ass out of the water and then you know arrested him so now during his legal proceedings they searched the edinburgh castle and they found loads of clothes like which were 
supposedly the clothes of his his victims the travelers clothes and they found 43 watches so that's where they come up with a number that he allegedly killed 43 people but like what happened to the victims that didn't have a watch like you know what i mean it's just like but that's the that's how they came up with the, the figure that um he that's how they came up with the figure of you know the amount of murder he committed 43 because they found 43 watches but when they're back to the plantation now they question the slaves and the slaves are snitching like it's, the slaves just did a talk of the things them the slaves must say him do this him do that him could do this him could do that but obviously because they're slaves their testimonies or their stories could not be upheld in the court of law he was only tried for the murder of john kalinda out of every single body that he killed he was only tried for the murder of john kalinda one soldier the slaves did detail that in his murders he didn't act alone and he had some other accomplices um some other planters who were also like real weirdos however he was still just tried for the single murder and for that murder he pled not guilty and he was represented um by like the best lawyer on the island or whatever he was still found guilty because obviously they were just you know he was found guilty and he was sentenced to death by hanging and he was gonna be he was hung in spanish town square and before he died he left money to get these words written on his tombstone their sentence price and malice i defy despise their powers and like a roman die on his tombstone that's what he wanted on his tombstone but obviously they're just like you're a murderer nobody not tried nobody cares about your with your wishes after death so apparently nobody saw through with that promise i don't know where them bury him probably some kind of shallow grave don't know <laughs> but he did not get that written on his tombstone because they were just like a man of your nature because he's like a monster to them he's like an evil cold nasty monster even though he was just tried for the one murder it's everybody knows that he was just a big dirty killer you know what i mean so yeah that is a story of lewis hutchinson just a quick short one to start off the series but i don't know what it is why there's so few serial killer create cases in the caribbean i don't know what it is i i really want to know why that is like what because i know if i were to search out some serial killer cases in america it would be in the hundreds of thousands or something like that you know what i mean but i don't know what it is but this case happened in the 1700s um so for the i will be doing this mask 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 and murder series every tuesday on my channel so you can come back here every tuesday if you are interested in this type of true crime content i will be starting up a series with some caribbean killers some caribbean cases and then obviously i'll progress into more cases around the world but i really want to focus on cases that i don't really see being reported on a lot so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i will go wash off my mask now so bye <laughs>